Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This is Europa Universalis 4. So what we're going to be doing, <clears throat> as you can probably tell by the title, is we're going to play as good old Scotland. And I'll be putting on my crappiest Scottish accent ever. Okay, so this is my trial where I was trying to see if this is actually possible. So, Scotland YouTube! Start Iron Man mode. <clears throat> Uh, so basically, what we are trying to do in this game is we're trying to take over England. Alright, if you've never seen Europa Universalis before, um, I will not be doing it very tutorial-esque because I'm not very good at the game. Uh, so I'll be talking through what I'm doing, but if you want a more tutorial-esque, I suggest going to see um, our good friend Arumba. Because he's basically got, like, I was going to say he's got the mechanics down to a T, he's still, he's still learning himself, which is good because he'll talk you through his decision making process and things. And he's uh, far better at these Paradox games than I am. So yeah, go and check it out if you want to learn a bit more about the game. Um, okay, so through my testing of this game, I know exactly what I want to do. I want to go to my missions, I want to accept the older line, so basically it means that France's opinion needs to be 150. Boom. And you give one stability for it. Um, what I also know is that I want to... I'm using the better UI mod. I want to get a royal mar marriage with Denmark. Um, so I can put that into an alliance. I want to not improve relations with France just yet. Um, what I want to do is I want to start fabricating a... F uh, um, fabricating a claim on Leinster. Because Leinster... Generally what happens is if you take over the rest of Ireland, then Leinster ends up in a... Quali in a been protected by England, which is bad, so we want to fabricate a claim on Leinster straight away, we want to uh, select our trade ships and send them to the North Sea, and we want to select the rest of our ship to come around here, and we want to move these guys over, we also want to train uh, not mercenaries, which I've got a fucking terrible habit of doing, and uh, we want to train three sets of troops, Okie dokie, and we can unpause it and pop up to the speed 3. Uh, Vettered Royal Marriage with, Den Marriage with Denmark, that's great, so that means that we can come over here and get the alliance as soon as we can. Go 44, we don't want an alliance with Connect because we'll just break it. Oh, also, good thing to check. Why do we get a shit one? Like, in all of my tests, I got some pretty badass uh, leaders. And it was awesome because you just steamrolled everyone at the start. Uh, yep, so we've got a military. Oh shit! We've got a military alliance with Denmark. What we now want to do is send you here and get you to improve relations. Send you back. Come on. Oh shit! My outline not out. I don't know why. There we go. So we can now improve relations. Cheers. Yep. On pause. All these guys are here. We'll send them over here. Get them to rally together, and then we'll just group everyone together. Oh shit, not F. Oh, cancel. G. And we also want a leader in charge. <coughs> James Stuart II. Um, how is this going? What we want to do is we want to... Uh, oops, no, we want to go to our diplomacy. Our diplomacy. And we want to set Leinster's arrival. That means that <clears throat> any of our wars and shit, we will be able to... <coughs> fucking hell. Any of our wars and stuff, we will get more prestige and stuff from. So, and it'll cost us less, less diplo power to take them over. So we want to do that. What we also want to do is go to Munster and ask for military access as we get a diplo back. Oh, we won't get a diplo back because he's fabricating claims, that's right. That's fine. As soon as he's finished with that, we'll... We'll get military access off of them. Actually, we'll take you back from France. We'll send you over to get military access for us. As soon as you can. There we go. Yes, military access. Okay, now come back to France and improve relations. As soon as you're back. Three, two. Alt save, one. Go improve relations in France. Uh, we'll speed up time a little bit because we're basically just waiting on... Oh no, actually what we can do is we can go these guys, hit A to attach them. Send them up here. 
There we go. Transport them over there. Select them, thanks. Just spam click to get them home. Perfect. And then we can just transport everyone over to Munster so that we're available to take over Leinster quickly. Do, 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 do. Four regiments embarked, containing a total of one unit. Alrighty, and our very last one. Uh, a to attach, and back over. That's one thing I've got to say about Europa Universalis. The, um, the controls are quite intuitive, like the, the hotkeys anyway. Uh, you aren't suffering any attrition out there, so I'm going to keep you out there. Alright, we will actually, I'm going to keep you here. And as soon as we have this claim, which we do, we go to Leinster, Diplomacy, as soon as we get our Diplomat back that is. This is, this is Scotland the warmongering scumbag, right, that's what we do at the start, we just warmonger like hell. Alright, so we go and we take back Leinster. As you can see, the guy's got no freaking uh, morale at all. He wasn't expecting it. And... Oh, forgot to unpause. Boom! Extra 6.2 prestige. It's normally 5. As you can see, he lost 5. He normally gained 5 because we've rivaled him at 6.2. Gained a load of army tradition. So what we do is we now detach a siege using... A siege? A siege using D. If it, oh no, it's paused. Detach a siege and move away. So um, we won a battle. I think our trade ships blew someone up. Yeah, there they are there. So our trade ships blew up their oil ship, which is hilarious. Yeah, we'll unpause. So yeah, that's basically what we've got to do now. And uh, so that's while that's doing that, we will we'll hold off on fabricating claims right now. What do I, what do I want to take? Actually, I'll fabricate a claim on Ulster. Where is it? Let's fabricate a claim. There it is. Fabricate a claim there. Actually, no, we don't want to do that because we need a diplomat to end this war. Ah, fuck it. I can always pull my diplomat back from France. Yeah, fabricate a flame. A flame? Fabricate a claim on Ulster. How's France doing? Deal relations, 76, royal marriage, nope, not yet. I bet we could get, I oh know we've already rivaled England. We need the money, we need, yeah, we need the money more than people influence, definitely. Um, so the, the act of detaching a siege and moving them off, like, while you're sieging you always get a, it's always a 1%, but in this place is a 3% because of the winter. Uh, so, the less people that's getting damaged, the less manpower you're using, and the less money it's costing you. So, it's not costing me anything for reinforcement just now because I feel reinforced. Ah, shit! The tell us War of the Roses have started. Nice, which is good. Um, England's really tough to beat uh, Scotland right now, so I want to be attacking him as little as possible, basically. So, the act of setting our boats out here is blockading their port, which makes it easier for us to uh, starve them out, basically. Uh, we're at 24%. As soon as that's done, we should be able to take Ulster. Uh, how's France liking me? Enough for a royal marriage. Yes, we'll pull this guy back. Done. Do, 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 do. Royal marriage. Yes, cheers. Great. They won't accept an alliance just yet. We can improve relations a touch more. Yeah, there's loads of loads of wiggle room for improved relations. So just improve relations until they want to offer us an alliance again. Or for the first time. Basically what happens after you take two of these, the the other ones like tend to trade dispute you. There we go, and they want to offer us an alliance, perfect. So we'll just bring our diplomat back and send him straight away as soon as he's back. Yep, perfect, so send, okay, on pause. Ah, now we've got a military alliance with France. Which should give us our quest straight away. Now as soon as he's back we want to get Castile happier with us. No mission selected, uh, 
Improve our prestige to gain one stability, we get up to 50 prestige. Um, we should be able to do that, yeah. So we'll, we'll do that and we'll send our other diplomat to improve relations with Castile down here. Because as soon as, like, we can get Castile as a an ally as well, actually. Improve relations. We'll bring him back so that he can negotiate peace for us in 20 days. And how's this going? 97%, perfect. Now ready for the assignment, so what we can do is we can do this, full annexation, perfect. Um, go to you, actually, go to you and as soon as we get a guy back, we want military access from you. Okay, that was just some pop-up saying that we lost some things. And as soon as they say we're allowed military access, perfect, we want to call this. And we can send everyone up here now. <clears throat> and then declare war on Ulster. Oh, I've not paused it. I've unpaused it well. Canacht has cancelled the military access, right? You fucking scumbags. Oh god, that is bad. Okay, so that basically means that Canacht, you've just got yourself a fucking claim fabrication set against you, you pricks. So we really need to get over to, to Ulster, but we can't because of Connect. So, pricks. I hate that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, go to my country, we're going to rival Connect and rival Ulster. And then we're going to drop bombs on their heads. I'm only kidding, we're not going to do that. That was, that was in bad taste, I didn't even realise what I was saying there. <laughs> uh, such a scrub. Let's see, we'll just have a look at the card notes. England's going for that guy, so why not? Might as well spend our papal influence. It's not like you can do anything with it. See, so yeah, what was what was a guy? Three two two. It's not bad. What's our uh, what's our air? Have we got one yet? No, we don't. How is Castile liking us? It's going up. Well, marriage is. Yeah, we should be able to get that. Uh, we can invest a cardinal again, let's do it. You want to just keep investing cardinals because like, I've had a few times where someone just gets you as he gets voted in. Pain in the arse. So, we're just waiting on the flame, the flame cabrication. The claim, the claim fabrication on Connect so we can attack them, beat the shit out of them and then beat the shit out of Ulster. Subsequently. Pain in the arse, these guys, honestly. I had a few that was like, uh, on one of my playthroughs, Monsters cancelled already, oh, right, okay, whatever. Um, oh, we're not, we're not improving relations with Castile. Uh, whoops. <laughs> it's like we're actually lacking a guy, what the hell. So what happens is we declare war on Canacht, and uh, when we can we'll declare war on Ulster. A quest for military access from Provence. No. <laughs> Screw you. Uh, we'll lose five mercs. Uh. Ah, fuck it. Lose the diplo pill. That happened to me last time as well. Ah, there we go. Now how do you feel? You screwed up my plans for fucking Irish domination. Now you die. Take connect. Call them willing allies. Hell no. That'd be pointless. Uh, so we'll do that and we'll fire you over there and get the ships to blockade. Alrighty. So we'll beat the crap out of them. As usual. Uh, suppress the Irish rebels, hell no, we'll just give them the ducats. We'll get rid of you. Detach the siege there and bring them over here. Actually, what I could have done is, I've already got Ulster as rival, don't I? I've got Connect and Ulster. Uh, not, not there. 
uh, Tyrone and Connacht. You're Tyrone, aren't you? Perfect. So what we can do is we can declare war to take Ulster as well, which is perfect. And then we can just shove you in there. And as soon as we beat them up, detach a siege, sit on there, detach a siege, sit on the other one. Just a way to get things done a bit quicker. Less war exhaustion. Boom, thank you very much, sir. Detach a siege there. Come over here and beat the crap out of the next one. We just got an heir who was pretty shit as far as I can see. Oh no, he's a he's a two three two. Oh wait, no, that's not my heir. Oh no, he's a three two two, it's not that bad. I thought it was a three two zero. There we go. And pause that. Detach a siege and take them off. And now we've got two walls going basically. <clears throat> well this one should go quicker because it's got the blockade. What I could do is just detach a blockade and sit over here. I'll actually sit over here, detach a blockade and move back. Um, because it's far better if this one's blockaded because this one will end quicker. So I can, uh, we can blow that up and then we'll move back over to block the other one. <clears throat> That's a G. There we go. Just waiting on the sieges finishing. This one should finish Ricky Tech. 42% chance to surrender. Alright guys, we've uh, reached the time limit, so before we end this war, we're going to call it an episode. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.